He said, it's new, it's working well, and all of a sudden we're shutting it down so we can turn it into a white rail. So we've got some of the... Yeah. So most of the higher patrol here coming out of Cootamundra. Right. I suppose the other thing is you drive within the margins of error, you know, within the speed limit. Yep, well that's what I do now. I used I used to push it, and now I just look at it and go, I mean, I'm, I'm really trying to decrease the amount of self-imposed stresses yeah. that I do on things. Right? Um, I've just been reading a book on cortisol. Probably scared me a little bit. Yeah. Um, I, well, don't, I don't know that it's true. So, it's just, what's cortisol? Is that the reaction? Okay, so, so, this is the stuff that, that you um, you get stressed. You you get adrenaline. Your adrenaline um, initiates the production of cortisol, which then energizes your body. It, Yes. Basically tells you to do Get all ready. sorts of stuff. Yep. Start consuming. Um, st yeah. Start start consuming sugars. Um, and um, shuts down a variety of things because you, you know you you've got to be ready to go right. Yeah. Um, and modern life's body's designed to have this for short, to have lots of this for short periods of time, like when you're running away from a lion, yep. and then you're supposed to have a period where you're done running away from the lion, and your body says, okay, good, goes back, sorts itself out. But because you've got the amount, because it doesn't discriminate about the sort of stress, it doesn't really give a shit whether you're worried about your mortgage or being yeah, shot yeah. in the head, um, yeah. it, um, because you've got a lot of this stress, a lot of people are subject to elevated levels of cortisol over long periods of time. And it does other odd things. I don't know all of them, but most of them are not good for you. Well, my diabetes and hypertension yep. uh, are listed down as being a consequence of the stress levels. Yep, so that's one of the things, the high blood pressure. Um, but of course, it causes disturbed sleep as well. Oh yes, um, he talks about yeah, that too. So, yeah. And I'm, I'm really trying to work on that. Yeah. And I'm, it's frustrating. <laughs> yeah, well, I take tablets for it these days, but but um, I don't know if that's as good as sleep as some sleeps you have. No, the, the stuff I'm reading says that there's a there's a couple of problems. One is sleep's probably not as good the other problem is that it doesn't you've got to keep changing the bloody stuff because your body says oh they, 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 okay you've got a sleeping tablet and um, so it works for a little while and then it just stops working because your body just adjusts to it um, and you get and there's for some of them you get sort of fairly solid side effects certainly um, what I was reading about the other day I think I've probably taken some version of it yeah. because um, it, gives, it makes me feel really groggy the following day oh, okay. or sometimes the day after. So I take it and I have a sleep and it's all right in that, you know, it's long and you think, okay, well, it should have done something. I don't know that I feel particularly rested by it, but I feel like a 